Hi Andy, great video again from Bali, the unconference. I commented uh, already in the text about uh, what Sonia had said. I think this is really a nice uh, way to consider propping up communications. My comment here today is more about the fact that I see that you cross post your content from YouTube into LinkedIn, which was the way to do uh, until maybe about a year ago. But now it's something that you might want to reconsider because actually the algorithms of LinkedIn push down the content that comes from other platforms. You have this uh, sort of blackish grayed out picture only. You don't have this nice sort of stark image like when you upload natively. And the content is pushed down, the experts say, by about a factor of 10 times. So that's quite something. Now, if you reconsider doing this and you upload natively, what do you need to know? There's three things, file size, video length, no thumbnail. Okay, let's start with file size. File size is probably not a big issue for you. It's five gigabytes that they limited on LinkedIn. It's only an issue if you shoot in 4K. And what you can do then, if you really go beyond five gigabytes, you um, use a tool, I use Handbrake to compress the whole footage. On Handbrake, I use reduction factor 22 and the, the, the file is really compressed nicely, nicely to upload, no visible difference uh, to the original file. The file length that you can't exceed on LinkedIn is 10 minutes, um, probably also not an issue for most of us, but talking about the algorithm again, it's obvious that LinkedIn prefers content and pushes content that is around three minutes. So if you somewhere around that line try to push down your content to go to what's to, to come around that size. And last point, the thumbnail. On YouTube, you have this nice feature of the thumbnail. So you can take any kind of picture, any kind of visual, any kind of frame from your video, and you, you take it into your editing software and you put in uh, titles and frames and call to actions, press here, click that, watch my video, this sort of thing and you upload it separately as a, as a picture and then in the preview functions on uh, YouTube you see the pictures. You don't have that in LinkedIn. LinkedIn, the picture that you see that is sort of in, in the feed, that is sort of your thumbnail and that is actually the first frame of your video. Now what do you need to do is to make sure that this first frame there is what you want to have. So you start with a smile or something or you take one particular frame out of your video, you edit it, you put on your graphics and you insert it as one first little frame back into your video and then you re-export your whole footage and upload it natively to LinkedIn. That's what you need to do. And that makes sure that like some outfits even start with a black screen on LinkedIn because they wanted to have the cinematic feel. And when they created this video and they didn't feel like redoing it for LinkedIn. And then you have only a black sort of square where there should be a nice video, uh, first picture, thumbnail to see. Maybe that helps. Thanks a lot.